Hello everyone, welcome to the Common Sense Academy. Today we're going to watch a video that I pulled from Van Bayon of it looks like a National Park Service Ranger pulling over a sovereign citizen type and calling him out for his shenanigans. Now I wish that this had ended in a way different than it did and you all will know what I'm talking about so leave me a comment or stick around for the analysis afterwards. However, before we watch the video, if you like my channel, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. I truly suggest that you subscribe. I'm trying to get to 10,000. Most of my viewers aren't subscribers, so if you like my channel, it's an easy way, a free way to support the channel. Also, uh, if you like coffee, I'm going to ask you to buy some Black Rifle coffee. The reason I'm asking you to buy this is because it tastes delicious, number one. Number two... This company is owned by veterans. Number three, a percentage of each of their profits goes to veteran causes. And number four, I'm a veteran myself. And if you buy this, I get a profit from it as well. So there's a link to Amazon in my description, Black Rifle Coffee. I wouldn't, I wouldn't be hawking it if I didn't think it tasted great. All right, so raise your cup in the air. It tastes better when we sip together. I've got the nectar of the gods, my favorite beverage, coffee. You may have something else. Let's do the same time sip. Now let's watch these shenanigans. So for the record, sir, could you repeat your name and uh, yep, Austin, your badge Austin number, please? Newman with the National Park Service, badge number 2313. The reason I'm stopping today, I didn't see a license plate on your vehicle. Can I see your license, registration, and uh, It's not required, sir. Okay. I have the free right. I'm, I'm actually, I'm going from, I'm a man, yep. and I'm going from point A to point B with my private property. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, then I'm going to need you to just step out of the car for a minute. I'm not going to abandon my vehicle. Okay. You don't have to abandon it. You just I'm not going to, I'm not going to abandon my vehicle. Okay. Do you have any weapons so, in the vehicle I need to know about or be concerned about? Um, yeah, I do, because we did plan on going shooting down below, and she wanted to come up and see the state park, so we just decided to check it out real quick. Okay, very so. good. All right, so uh, do either of you have any kind of identification on you? Um, I've got a uh, concealed uh, weapons permit. Okay. And a uh, Costco card with, uh, with my picture. Okay. So actually, here's more. I'd like to uh, more paperwork. I'd like okay. you to look at. Can you hold that for me, please. Just like that, and don't cover up the lens. There you go. That'll have my picture on it. Okay. Okay, very good. Well, if you can just hang on here for a minute, I'll be right back. Yeah. Yes, sir. So, by you having your lights on, you're declaring an emergency. So, uh, how can I assist you with your emergency? Well, you've already provided me with identification, which is what I requested. Okay, because actually for uh, turning your lights on without an emergency is actually fraud. Okay. Well, here's your identification back. Okay. Okay, right now I'm just going to give you a warning for not having a license plate. Okay. All right, so state law does require that you have a license plate on your vehicle. So I would strongly suggest that you do get that. Well, I see you do have a valid Washington DL, so you're not driving without a license, so I have no issue with that, okay? Right, but I'm not driving under the capacity of a, a driver. Okay, all right. I don't um, need your shenanigan talk, all right? There's so, no shenanigans. So I, know are, my, yeah. I know my rights, okay, sir. Okay, so. yeah. You know what you think are your rights. So you are free to leave, okay? Okay, thank you, all sir. Right, drive safe. You too. Now, I know what you're thinking. I know what you're thinking because I'm thinking the same thing. This officer just let him go with a warning. After all the all the shenanigans he was spewing, he let him go with a warning because he had a valid driver's license. But he didn't have a valid plate, sir, and you can't be driving around without a license plate or with some fake license plate. And it's instances like this that makes these sovereign citizens think that they can get away with it, okay? The first inter the interesting thing about this is this guy was pulled over by the National Park Service. It looks like snow behind the officer, okay? It looks like snow, but he's wearing a short sleeve shirt, no jacket. What's going on? Or did I miss something there? I don't know. That was just something that came to my mind. He was pulled over because it's not a license plate. And um, 
And oh, before we get to that, record this vertical recording. Somebody needs to teach these sovereign citizens to record horizontally. All right, so we can get a full picture. This vertical recording, come on, you make it look terrible, man. It looks terrible. So um, pulls him over, no license plate. He said, oh, what this sovereign citizen come out with? Oh, it's not required. It's not required. Oh, why is it not required? Because I'm a man going from point A to point B. Oh, okay, yeah. All right. Um, you know, I, I, that could be the reason for a lot of things. Sir, why are you uh, intoxicated and, and, you know, beating people up? Because I'm a man just trying to get from point A to point B. Uh, come on, man. Come on. That's ridiculous. Uh, the officer asks him to step out. He says, I'm not going to abandon my vehicle. And the officer sort of st just stepped down. Okay, this guy doesn't want to hassle that day, but if you don't want to, at least <laughs> at least write him the ticket. You know what I mean? At least write him the ticket. Um, he asks for identification, and uh, this guy says, I got my concealed carry permit and my Costco card with my picture. I'll just let that one lie right there. Um, he also hands this officer paperwork. This is, I love this, the sovereign sits, the sovereign. So here's, here's some paperwork. Here's, here's, some, here's, some, um, uh, here's some paperwork I'd like you to read. Oh, okay, sir. I'm going to stand here and read your book of BS. Uh, number one, while there's, it's cold outside. Number two, when this is all nonsense. I don't know why they even take it. I'd be like, if you hand that to me, it's going on the ground. Um, he has his girlfriend hold the camera, you know, true gentleman and a scholar here, but he is taking her out to shoot guns. So uh, maybe, maybe he is a scholar. Um, he, then he tells the officer that he has lights on declaring emergency and that that is a fraud. So I'd like you to point me to the real law that actually shows that. And I really don't care what your 1908 version of Black's Law Dictionary says. All right, because it's wrong. Um, then the officer lets him go because he has a valid driver's license. Um, and he's, he said something that I hadn't really heard before. I'm not under the capacity of a driver. Not under the capacity of a driver. That may be something that I got to look up and uh, address in my book because that's more ridiculous than a lot of what I've heard. And then the officer says, I don't want your shenanigans. I don't want your shenanigans. I know my rights. He says, oh, these are the rights that you don't. These are rights that... Uh, the officer says, um, yeah, these are what you believe are your rights, but they're not actually your rights. And then he lets him go with a warning. Again, a little disappointing here, especially when people act this way. It's a, you know, what was, this This is the kind of thing, look, I, this officer, this is the kind of thing that makes the sovereign citizens think that their BS works. And uh, they, they use the stalling tactic and sometimes it does work. And the stalling tactic worked here. Uh, so I thought this officer, look, if you don't want to, if you don't want to arrest them and pull them out of the car, I get that. Okay. But you should probably drop them a ticket for breaking the law. Um, it's people who recognize the law and people who are cooperative and nice, uh, who deserve breaks. Frankly, that's my personal opinion. So I hope you enjoyed my commentary on Common Sense Academy. If you like my show, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. Sign up for my email list. You get a free PDF on the history and examination of the sovereign citizen movement and get some black rifle coffee. I tell you, it's worth it. It goes to a good cause. The link is below. Thanks.